Picture this, you're snuggling your little one all day on the couch, the laundry's done, the dishes are done, and you don't have to worry about making a meal. But here's the thing, eventually you're gonna need a hands-free moment with baby, and that's where a convenient Baby Bjorn baby carrier comes in. Hey friends, it's Judith here from Snugglebugs, and I am so excited to be walking you through all of Baby Bjorn's amazing baby carriers today. I'm a mom of two little boys, and I can tell you, my second spent a lot of time in the carrier, and I also loved to take my older one on long walks when he was our only child in a carrier for those hands-free moments. A carrier is so amazing because your little one craves that closeness early on, and it allows you to get things done while also giving them the closeness they desire. So when we go through these carriers today, be sure to pay attention to some of the little things, the weight and the age that you can use the carrier in, as well as comfort, convenient features, and the different fabrics that they come in. So if you're planning to do a lot of hiking and be out and about with your baby and plan to baby carry for a long time, you're gonna wanna make sure you choose something with great back support, maybe a mesh fabric so that it's nice and breathable. But if you're just starting out and want a really cozy space for baby, maybe the baby carrier mini would be the one for you. So let's go ahead and get started. There are four great carriers to take you through today the Carrier Mini, the Carrier Free, the Carrier One, and the Carrier Harmony. Let's go. So this is the Baby Bjorn Carrier Mini, and it is one of the smallest, softest carriers available. Here we have it in a beautiful 3D jersey that's extra soft. It also comes in a mesh fabric that's extra cool, and then just a plain old cotton. So this is great for those first few months with baby. You can use the Carrier Mini from zero to 12 months or 25 pounds. And it's great for frequent but short baby wearing sessions. So I had this exact carrier with my little one and I found it was so easy to put on when they were a little upset and just needed that closeness. Having your little one baby wearing them is a great way to get them to calm down, especially if nothing else is working. So this is great because you can just put the straps on like a backpack. You easily clip the little pieces in, connect your blue, connect your red, and your little one is nice and content there in the carrier. There are some little things to make sure you're doing when you put on this easy to use carrier. So number one, with all of these carriers, you always wanna make sure that your little one is close enough to kiss so that they're able to keep their breathing passages open, especially if they're cuddling up to you or it's a hot day, you wanna make sure that that ventilation is there for them and they're up high. We're also going to use these tiny little clips here to make your leg openings shorter until your little one reaches a certain weight early on, as well as you can make adjustments to keep this headrest nice and tight on their head. Not tight that it's restricting, but babies don't have that head control, especially when you're using this from birth or seven pounds, you wanna make sure that their head is supported. Again, when we're using a baby carrier, we're always going to want to bend at the knee versus bend over to pick something up. I love that you can totally customize this to your body. There is a convenient little piece here at the back that allows you support on your back, depending on your size and the size of your baby. Again, we love that you can customize these carriers. Now, when you're putting this on, it does come in two pieces. As I mentioned, you put on the straps and then you connect this other piece. But as you see here, there's a little bit of a measuring tape and you're gonna wanna make sure you just adjust that to your baby's height and weight because there is no infant insert needed. You can just use this as is. When your little one hits that five month mark, you can actually turn them facing out to the world versus facing the parent or caregiver. Again, you're gonna wanna keep your manual handy and make sure that you're checking on those milestones and the weight limits, and then eventually you will retire your carrier for something else. So one of the things I found is after wearing my carrier for a long time, the Carrier Mini, my back did start to hurt a little bit, and that's where these other options come in with more comfort levels. But this, in my mind, 
is the number one must have item for your baby registry. You cannot live without the Baby Bjorn Carrier Mini. Next, we have the Baby Bjorn Carrier Free. Now, one of the things I love about working at Snugglebugs is that our goal is to instill confidence while you're choosing those things for your little one. And I actually wasn't very familiar with the free when I had my little one. So let me explain some of the differences between the Carrier Mini and the Carrier Free. So the Carrier Mini max out at 12 months or 25 pounds, where the carrier free can actually be used until 15 months. So you are getting that little bit of an extra stretch. And the reason for that is you're getting a lot more padding for the wearer of the baby. So it goes on the exact same way that we use the carrier mini. You're gonna put it on backpack style, connect your left button, your right button, your red and your blue mechanisms. And same thing goes when your little one is small, you absolutely have to connect your little leg openings to make them smaller for your little one. And then you can just not connect them once they're bigger. It has extra padding for the parent right here on the shoulders. It also has a very interesting back support here. As you can see, we're getting a bit of lumbar support on the back. Also this T shape and the ability to easily move up and down depending on what's most comfortable for your body type. You can still make lots of great adjustments on this carrier around the waist, keeping baby again close enough to kiss and it can be used in three different modes. So here we have it in newborn. You could also move these straps down for your little one once they're old enough to keep their head out Additionally, you can use that front carry at the five month mark. Same with the carrier mini. Again, we do have the ability to cinch your legs here with this piece and find that custom fit. You're going to also make sure that you're measuring baby before you put this carrier on to make sure that they're up nice and high. We can't say it enough, but close enough to kiss when you are baby wearing. It is important to note all of these carriers from Baby Bjorn are approved and hip healthy because we wanna make sure that our little ones developing bodies are in the perfect spot when they are spending that time with you baby wearing. So next up in the Baby Bjorn lineup is the Carrier One. So this does come in a variety of fabrics, but here we have the mesh, which is great for breathability and ventilation for you as the wearer and also for your little one. There's nothing worse than taking off your carrier and you are just drenched in sweat. So we love these nice, cool materials. So now we're getting a little more and a lot more versatility as we move up in the different carriers. So you have four different carry positions and this carrier one can be used from newborn at eight pounds all the way up until three years old. So you can use it with this front carry with your newborn attachment, which you can zip up to keep them higher. Then you can have them lower when you unzip that piece. You can also have them facing the world around five or six months. And then you can also do a back carry, which is really interesting. And some people really enjoy that, especially if they are keeping this baby wearing journey longer down the road and they are maxing out at that three years old or 33 pounds mark. So we have a different way of putting this on. You're gonna put it on almost like a backpack and then you can go ahead and customize to fit your body. So we're going to tighten the shoulders. We're gonna tighten the waist belt. You can simply put this around you and clip it up. Again, earlier on, if you want, you could have your partner or a friend help you to customize this. But once you wear your baby a few times, you will know exactly where you want it and what feels comfortable for you and baby. I also love these padded shoulder straps and the ability to tighten here based on who's wearing. So again, a great versatile carrier like this can be used for mom or dad or grandma or whoever that caregiver is wanting to carry your baby. I know that aunts and uncles love that close time because your little one is just very used to being in the carrier. So it's nice that other people can have that closeness with them as well. Of course, you're gonna wanna customize this based on your baby's size. So right here, we have our little one in stage two. So we have unzipped the zippers here again to make sure that they are sitting in a hip healthy position. We do have the ability 
to tighten up the leg space early on when you're using it in the newborn position. But ultimately, once you're kind of going through all of the carriers, the carrier mini, the free, and now the one, you kind of can see the differences and similarities and choose a carrier based on the versatility that you're looking for in your carrier journey. So that was the Baby Bjorn Carrier One. This is the Baby Bjorn Harmony Carrier. It is the all-in-one, everything you need and want in one package. So this is actually the carrier I upgraded to in my family after my little one outgrew the first carrier we showed you, the Baby Carrier Mini, which maxes out at 12 months or 25 pounds. But before we dig into this that everyone wants to know about, it's important to note that we have been using a weighted baby here as our little model to showcase the different modes. And the way that this baby sits versus the way your real little infant would sit will look differently. So always reference your manual for the positions that we're telling you about. There's lots of customizations available, especially in the last two carriers. So read your manual and make sure you have it in the exact position you should be. A great kind of tip for you would be as your little one changes their wake windows, go ahead and just check where they should be in their carrier just so you can keep those positions top of mind. So let's dig into the Harmony. This can be used from zero to three years old in four modes, just like the last carrier we showed you. So that's in the newborn setting, facing parent, facing the world, and also the back carry. But this can be used up until 40 pounds. So you get a little bit of extra time using this carrier with your little one. And it really does have it all, especially from a comfort perspective. So here you can see, rather than just clipping onto the back, the clips to each other, there is this really nice padded lumbar support. We also have padded shoulder straps here. And look, I have the ability to tighten depending on the width of your back or what's most comfortable for you when wearing your carrier. This is why this one is a little bit more on the higher end range of the Baby Bjorn carriers. And that's because it packs a punch. It has three different headrest positions. As you can see, we have our little one not in the newborn position, but that secondary facing the parent position. If you wanted them in newborn position, you could just undo these snaps, really give them that nice head coverage, or you can just pop it down. It has these nice little cotton details as well as the mesh, but has the ability to do all of the carry modes we talked to you about in our last carrier. So if you are just discovering which baby carrier might be for you, you're not sure how often you'll be carrying, we hope you found this video nice and helpful because you can decide which carrier is best for your family. Do you wanna go all in on the Harmony with all of the different positions you'll need and it gives you the ability to max out at 40 pounds or do you find yourself somewhere in the middle? Do you think you'll be putting on the carrier frequently when your little one is small? but you want that back support, perhaps it's the free. We are going to make sure that we link up lots of great articles and other videos for you to research to help make this journey an easy one for you as you're picking out the best baby gear for your family. I so enjoyed the opportunity to chat with you about one of my favorite brands, Baby Bjorn, and all of the great carriers they have. If you have a question, leave a comment or send us a DM on Instagram. We'll get back to you right away and help you choose the best carrier for your family. We'll see you in the next video.